What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Vikings here are the lot of results looks like New York's getting that first overall pick so uh, they should have something pretty good in there but this is obviously probably not going to be as strong as a draft as it was last year speaking of that let's check out what our central scouting is seeing we should still have a lot of elites uncovered here and we do 60 this guy's looking good he's up in the 80s goalie right after him so that's what third round we could make some trades we might even trade our first and trade it back because there's some good stuff around here i'm really excited about this guy that's like a fourth or fifth round pick right there same with this guy they're both medium elites as well that's kind of crazy this guy's a lefty though of course he is what was that righty defenseman i was thinking about <laughs> i think he was a low elite but um yeah, there's also a playmaker here, projected to go around 40, second round. Might not be bad to get, we are, we need centers. There's another grinder there, he's listed as a gem. If I can get him, I'll get him, but it's another grinder, and only low elite actually could be, couldn't be too bad. Um, Wisniewski I definitely want, he keeps dropping. Well, for us he does, but central scout, yeah, central scouting has him dropped a lot. I wonder why that is. Oh, injury prone? Interesting. Well, could still be worth taking a chance on. This guy's listed as a gem, so I might want to just take him. We do have a few guys listed as gems here. More than a few. Carpenter's also, yeah, and then, yeah. Okay, interesting. A few guys here listed as gems. Another few, yeah, that guy's definitely a bust. <laughs> a top nine. High, though, in, but 13th? Hell no. I'd take that guy, you know, late first, maybe. Probably second, though. Alright, interesting. Okay, retired players now. I don't think we should have any retirements. Well, it starts on... Doesn't even start on our team anymore. Will it start on our team if we have a retirement? I'm guessing it would, okay. Probably. So, that's cool. Saves you the trouble. All right, so Marion Gabrick, Thomas Vanek, Zach Parise, so Minnesota gets out of that contract. Uh, Brent Burns, really? At age 37? You can't check his overall from, yeah, you save yourself game. He still had four years left. Yeah, that's, yeah. All right, Chris Kunitz, Keith, uh, Placanics, Jokinen, Zajac. And those look like middle of the main names in there. Jack Johnson was in free agency, rip. Beagle. All right. And that's it. How about goalies? Oh, Luongo retires at age 43. What a beast. <laughs> Those are his career stats right there. Not too shabby. Better than Ward, better than Miller, better than everyone. All right. Good job, Luongo. <laughs> All right, so before we get into the draft here, we do have a couple winners here. I decided to uh, indeed give the two goalies a tie because it was very, very close in a lot of ways. Because, um, like, one could win the match and the other could win the Vesna. You know what I mean? Because, like, one had less goals against. So I just decided to give them a tie here. So we're going to read off a couple of names that had winners. So first up is Chef, the Chess Math Master. You guessed team defense was Carlson and the league tendy was Hellebuck. So good job. Uh, next up, we got Swagalicious Games. I guess the team lead was Karpovtsev, and uh, the goalie was Hellebuck, so good job. And last but not least is uh, Nathan Bettman. He had team lead for defense was Carlson, and the goalie was Hellebuck. So there we go. All right, now we can get ready to start that draft. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, I was right. For some, I just had a weird fleeting moment. I'm like, wait, did Karpovsev lead our forwards in point? I'm like, yes, he did, didn't he? Yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> I had a weird little moment where I wasn't sure. All right, anyway, so <laughs> let's get into the draft now. We have ourselves a decent chunk of picks. Not as much as we had last year, but we don't really need all of them. But what I'll do here is look at my picks and match them up with some of uh, some of the guys that we'll be going after here. My goodness, we're going to have a lot of guys coming up, so we're going to be letting a lot of guys go. Probably Panarin's going to be gone, as well as Subban. But, 
whatever. We'll worry about that later. So we got a one, two, two threes, two fours, two fives, three sixes, and three sevens. So that's a decent chunk. And I might, like I said, move back this 25th. So 25th overall, I don't think that there's actually anything there. If I can move it back for into the second round for that early guy, that red elite. That's what I would like to do. Because when we look towards where our pick is, it's a top six that we can get. And then this guy who might be a top six. All these guys, yeah, sure, some guaranteed top sixes. However, if we go back just a little farther, there's Burmese Straw up here. We have him ranked 39 out of 32, so we'd have to get the 7th to be safe, even though he's he's ranked a little bit after that. Oh, interesting, yeah, so the guy we had, McArdle went, okay, nice. All right, so let's see what's in this top five first off. Ooh, shit, I forgot to actually change the settings to turn back on, be able to see potential. My bad, guys, so any blind picks we make, we won't be able to know yet, but whatever. We have all these guys scouted, at least. That kind of sucks, that's my bad. Totally forgot to do that. I was like reminding my, ooh, shouldn't there be another elite here? Did they, Arizona make a bad pick? Yes, they did. Arizona screwed up right there. All right, not too bad of a top 10. All tops, I think there's no more elites there in that top. Oh, there is. Ooh, it's nice. Not bad. And top four. Not too bad there. Unless, can I actually see him after they get drafted? Maybe I didn't turn it back off and I just had it on. <laughs> that could be true as well. All right, so we have the 25th here. I think, like I said, I'm going to want to move that pick back for like the 7th or the 6th. Probably the 7th, right? Or no, wait. Hold on. What was it? He's listed to go 40 or 39th or something like that. Yeah, so that is the 7th. Yeah, but 40th in the central scouting. Let's go for try to get the 7th in the 2nd. They don't want to give that up. Okay, let's look for one that someone wants to give up. That's just the best way to go about this. A six, maybe? They don't want to give up that one either. Huh. I'm not going to go... I won't go, obviously, past this one. Or the eighth, which is the central scouting. Oh, that's dangerous. Still kind of dangerous for an elite. Uh, let me see about the five there. Oh, Minnesota. They should want to give that up then. Yeah, if they want to give up that other one. Okay, this is the safe bet. It's a little bit more value, but it's a safe bet. So let's see. We'll obviously trade up our first. They want the first. That's really good for us. Okay, and then we should be able to get something else here. Now, where were the other items that we want? That's what I should figure out here. Is where these other items are that we really wanted. Because then they'll kind of dictate what other picks I want. So this is like... Uh, third, third, we have a couple thirds, this guy's also, mm, I could get him, that's free value, these guys are more in the fours, we can get those, we can just pick up a bunch of mid picks with it, but I can get this guy, he's actually early third, or another late second, I don't think we can get a two and a three back, we might be able to, I don't know how early our threes are gonna be, That's like the last, yeah, he's central scouted and ranking like the last pick of the second, actually. Yeah. So, we would not be able to get that in a single trade. Unless he drops further. I don't think he would, though. It's pure value that we'd be drafting that guy for. Of course, it just, I hate that. It, someone picks and then it actually screws up your... <laughs> your scout... Uh, searching here so those guys who else who else where are those red elites all at uh 140 so that's another second mm. i still want to grab that guy for sure or is that who i'm going for yeah that's actually who i'm going for my bad <laughs> the other ones don't matter oh sorry <laughs> i forgot yeah i think i should move back for that guy and then we'll grab this we'll grab the second for him Maybe, maybe that other second. No, I don't think they'll give us that other second. I could pick way out of order for this guy. Because if we looked in the central scouting, I don't think there's actually much else. There really wasn't, at least any elites that are guaranteed. This guy could be, but I mean, he's around the same, same level anyway. So what's the point? Why not just pick the guy we know for sure? And that's free value. All right. So let's make that move then. For this, 
And we could also... I can grab, like, their third if they have, like, a decent third or something. Then I could always shift those around if I want to move up into a better position. They don't have a third, which is unfortunate. I don't think they'll give up the other second in this. No, I don't think so. Even though they want this first, I don't think they give up both those seconds. I'll try it, but I don't think they do. Ah, uh, yeah, value on the table is too far off, so... Alright, let's remove that. We'll get the second. Maybe we can grab all those later picks. They only have fives. I'm not really a fan of that. I mean, we're not moving back that much, so... If I can get all three of those, that would be okay. Another five, a five, and a seven. All we're doing is moving back 12 slots. We're getting three extra picks because of it. I'd say that goes through. And I'll even try, like, a fourth from next year, just in case it's the value. I'm, I'm misjudging it. Apparently I was, so <laughs> I'm glad I got that fourth from next year. So I'll take that. They're able to get themselves a nice player. But we're going to get ourselves an elite. A low elite, but an elite at that. Sorry, let's see what the rest of this is. Yeah, I think I actually do have the thing still turned on. Unless we see something that's... No, okay, I do so. Ooh, that's a nice pick right there, Vermette. Good, so I still have the you can view potentials on. That's good. So, not too bad here. All right, you know what? I can just sim up to our pick and then scroll back. See if there's anything crazy out of the ordinary there. Mostly top sixes there. Some decent top sixes. No high top sixes, but they usually would go higher anyway. Then into the top nines already. So, we're going to be able to get ourselves a steal here. Yeah, this is going to be an ultimate steal. All right, so we're going to pick up that center now. Bernie Strauf, it's only low elite, but I have a feeling this guy will start off at a decent overall with how high he is in the draft. And again, we need center prospects. So, Chubasov did a good job scouting this guy. He doesn't, doesn't have good shot utilization to reach, but he's got great offensive instincts, good offensive creativity, and good playmaking ability. That's perfect for this kind of player. Uh, no comparison. Some concerns he can handle professional environment, but he does care about winning. He's only 18. Let him get there. Yeah, he faced some tough competition, which is why he didn't have that many points, but I like him. So we're picking him. Boom. Burmistrov, low elite here in the second round. I'm very okay with moving that pick back. We just we did just get the first overall last year. All right, so now our next pick will be in the third. No. Oh, we have another second. That's right. Oh, we could actually get the goalie there. There. Yeah, that's our own second. Haha. -ha. Derp. So that's where we can get the goalie. So we'll sim up to that, and we can get that one, dude. I'm gonna. I think we're gonna make it here where we only draft the least in this draft. <laughs> I think that's gonna be a thing right now. Yeah, we could take Wang, even though he's out of order. I still think it's worth it. Our next two picks. We'll have to be careful about these ones. Those look like late three, but I'll have to do a count on it. There's 94 is the last pick, uh, and that's in 32. So. Minus five. Actually, we should be able to get both these guys because we should have the 25 and one third that's earlier. So, yeah, we should be able to get those. Uh, Peltier, he's not a guarantee. I'd rather get the guarantee. So, let me grab uh, Wang here who's been scouted by Bobic. Wow, he didn't play too good, but he faced good competition. So, I'm not too, you know, not good stickiness, not good poise, not good durability. That's a bit iffy, but whatever. He's likely trading value compared to Braden Holpe. Interesting. All right. Well, let's grab him. Barry Wang, Barry or Wang in her. <laughs> so, uh, picked him 25th, a little bit off the board, but not too much. I mean, it was only a few more picks until he was scheduled to go, but we got ourselves yet another elite. Let's check in that third round here. So, yeah, we got the 10th, and then we should have the 25th. We should be able to get both those guys. We could even trade that back a little bit if we wanted to and get some more other, other picks that we need. We can kind of calculate where all these guys are going. So, those two we should get. These two guys around the early 5th, mid 5th. Okay, so, we might want to grab some earlier-ish stuff if we can. But we don't have to do that now. We could always trade another pick for it. These guys are way late in the 7th. So, yeah, we're going to grab all these elites that we have scouted. <laughs> all of them are going to be ours. So, I think we're going to grab Comrie now. This is guy's a guarantee. These guys a gem. Marlamov would be also good to have at Comrie. What pick are we on right now? 58th. Okay. Well, we don't have to... Obviously, I don't have to grab him now. 
thought I had someone... Oh, no, no, sorry. Derp. We don't even have the pick yet. It's... Right here. Let's just sim up to that pick. It's not gonna be... Out. Uh, we're now at 74th. Yeah, so 74th. We might pick off the board because the next pick... 74th at what? So, 10. So, plus 14 would be... No, what the hell? <laughs> what is he at? 89 or 88? So, either plus... No, it is plus 14. Yeah, I was right. Plus 14 or plus 15. Well, hold on. That's a little tricky. Well, no, we could pick one of them, obviously. Pick the earlier one. Save the alone one for later. I, to be safe, maybe moving up is the best bet. But I, you, I haven't really seen guys go too far out of order. Let me check. 88 and 89, yeah. So we can grab Comrie, and then we are guaranteed to get this guy. And it's another elite goalie. So if I lose him, I don't really care about that. I have plenty of elite goalies. The value would be nice, but it's not a biggest deal. What the big deal is, is to get this Comrie guy. So he's 20 years old. Interesting. Injury prone. I don't like that. But he's got good work, that get, work ethic and good ma maturity. Very friendly, but keeps to himself. Similar to Zach, ooh, similar to Zach Parise. Eh? So he's going to fizzle out after he gets a big contract. Well, I still think it's t worth taking a risk on him. 20 years old. He should be actually kind of close to NHL ready. So yeah, let's pick him. So let's get Comrie right there. Medium elite in the third round. Let's just kind of sim up here. I want to see what a few of these guys are. Starter top six is nice. Low top six. But there's a medium top six back there. Another low top six. A lot of low top sixes. But those guys aren't bad for a third round. That one pick was pretty damn good though. I might have to move this pick up. I'm not comfortable. So 83. So this is 83. Oh, no, this is 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. I got to move it up. No, 89. I don't. You know what? I'll wait. I'm not going to. I'm not going to try to move up. He didn't get picked. All right. So it pretty much looks like central scouting sets everything in stone. Unless someone else had him scouted higher. But we have him scouted one higher than. So technically, we, you know, to be safe, we should have moved up there. But I took a risk. I risked it for the biscuit and we got lucky. So yet another elite goalie here. Nothing but elite so far, and we're already half well, about halfway through this draft. So there we go. That was we're at the 90th overall now. Let me see what my picks are at. Alright, so the next guys coming up are what? What do we got coming up here? Oh really? 137, 142. And in the 200s. Okay, so we might blind pick a few here. 107, that's not high enough. What about anything three ticks on the low elites? All of them in the seventh round. Okay. This guy's a gem, so I'll probably want to grab him. Yeah, that's a lot in the seventh. We could probably trade a pick or two back here to grab some more sevens, but we have three. Those are very, very late. So 137 and 142, man. We're not even in the danger area. There's actually nothing really in the fourth. Some the user pick here. Got the 21st overall. We're at 117. Now we actually might want to pick him, though. Because we're getting close. 137 and 142. Let's see. Our next one is... What? The uh, 121 or something? Something like that. Yeah, 121. How early in the 5th is our pick? 121. That's 131. Hold on. 121 and 131. Would that be sufficient? Yes. Okay. So we can grab this guy, grab the next guy. All right. Well, we could take someone here. Hmm. What do I want to do then? Hmm. Maybe I don't want to risk it and just grab them all now. Alright. Well, was there something projected earlier? Not really. I don't think there was. So, top six guy here, but not really worth it. 
right, 117. We could take a chance on this guy. Another, well, he's a right winger. He's a winger playmaker. And this, that guy's way back there. Well, we might, we might break the elite streak right here, but I'm not going to worry about that. This is a free pick right here. This is basically a free pick, so... I don't think I I don't need to move it back at all by any means. Next pick we'll get this guy. The pick after we'll get him. That'll be just fine. All right. Well, there was one in there who was kind of close. Not really. Where was he? This guy. I could take a random chance on this guy. Dimitrakos. At least he's a two-way forward. Or this Corey guy, but he's less likely. This guy can only be as low as top 9, and he could go up to elite. He's also 19, whereas this guy's 17. Let's take a chance on this this guy, Dimitrakos, just because that was a Sharks player back in the day. Give me tacos. Nah, top 9. Damn it! Uh, so I was hoping to get lucky on that one. So that was a bit of a throwaway pick for us, but that's okay. So the elites... <laughs> the elite streak was broken up, but it's about to get a... Refreshed here with this pick on Varlamov. So let's pick Varlamov right now, a little bit early, but it'll be worth it. Another yellow elite, medium elite sniper. I didn't check what his uh, comparison of stuff was, but my bad. Uh, how about that other guy? Lapointe. Was that the guy who I was looking at, or was it someone else? I'm actually going to sim up a pick or two here just to see. It was, no, he was a. What am I doing? I don't want to trade for this. Yes, I don't want to trade. Um, it was a it was a playmaker, but he's a right winger, right? Man, I'm all. Oh, he was after this though. He was way after, yeah. But I do want to find. Was that him, Corey? That might have been. I think it was. Yeah, I'm actually gonna sort by elites here because that was the easiest way to find it. <laughs> Because I completely forgot what his ranking was. I know it was a bit higher than where we picked him at. Yeah, it, no, no, it's definitely... Or was it... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he definitely... Definitely wasn't anything. Alright. So there we go. Now we'll get the... No, let me... Jesus. Next pick here. He was actually worse than the guy we got. We got two picks in a row now. We can get ourselves an elite and then take some more blinds here. So we'll grab Kempinen. Yeah, actually, we don't have much choice here for the elites. All right, combine in there. Another medium elite here in the fifth round. It's insane. Medium elite in the fifth round. There's a fringe starter. Guy with a chance. Nope, lefty. Another goalie here. We can get lucky with a goalie. We've seen the goalies. This guy's dropped, but... Goalies are good. Goalies are always kind of a safe bet. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to pick the goalie. He might turn out to be nothing, but whatever. It's worth the risk. Fringe starter. Okay. So not much, but hey. Decent value on him. So now our next pick here is the 149. And I'm pretty sure we don't have anything coming up that we really, really wanted. Or that we really wanted to take a chance on. Yeah, we have no more guaranteed elites for the medium. The low elites are all coming in the way, way later. So, right now, we can just take a few blind picks until we get up there. Obviously, we don't want to lose any, but so how many picks do we have left? That's a good thing to guess. I think we have plenty. I think we have, like, six-plus picks left after this. Yeah, we have plenty. Plenty of picks. We're not in any danger there. All right, so let's see here. What has a decent chance... Is this guy righty? I might just pick him because he's a righty, even though he's only top six. This guy could go up to elite. This guy can only be top six. Everything else is kind of meh. That guy was... Was he medium to top six, though? That's a big question. If he was medium, then I'll definitely... He is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take this Vicklin guy. We need more right-handed defensive prospects. And this guy's not too bad. Defensive defenseman... Not the greatest skater, but he's very strong at the defensive end. He's got good character. Loyalty is a concern. Similar to Chris Chelios. That's incredible. Okay. Let's check this Vicklin guy. 
I think that's a solid pick. We need more right-handed defensive prospects. So there we go. Got him. Next pick here. 153. Yeah, we're still just fine. And there's a few top nine guys in here I could probably grab. Creamer, top nine. He's a sniper. Not the greatest. Low top nine power forward. I prefer a medium top nine. This guy's close to a grinder. He could drop down to top six, but this guy's a medium power forward. So I think I'll take him. Medium top nine power forward. Let's grab Whitaker there. Well, let's see what his comparison is. First, lacks the skating. Nose for the net. I like that. Good size and strength. And good strength. What? <laughs> Double strength. Similar to Grabner. Very firmly, but keeps to himself. Whatever. Tristan Whitaker. Get on my team. There we go. And we'll send him up to the next pick here. We're getting towards the 200s, 162. And I'll, I'll probably want to take all of those guys who are close. So all the guys, even with the three ticks, those are all worth it. Because they can only drop as low as the top six. So let me just see how many of those there were. Wish I can get rid of those ones. So there's three more. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we don't have to take them yet. We have... Okay, so we'll want to we'll wanna start on him on this pick. On the 25th, on our own pick zone, we'll want to start. Because we have four sevens. We can get them all. And they shouldn't... Yeah, they're, they're actually very late seven. Some of them even projected to go undrafted. So, here's another uh, throw... Well, not a throwaway pick, but another... Here's a grind... No, low. I'd rather get mediums here. Medium fringe start is not bad, but I know there was another... Yeah. DeLuca. Quentin DeLuca here. In the extra league, medium top nine... Another medium. That's another right-handed defenseman, but we do have a lot of defensive prospects and a lot of elites, so role players I definitely will need more of. Lacks the skating, of course. Doesn't let things bother him. Very well composed. Seems to have a pro mentality and good leadership. That guy just seems solid. It's exactly what you want from a grinding role player. Let's get Quentin DeLuca here. I think he's a solid pick. Yellow top nine. Medium top, whatever. I'm Just give me the colors back, man. All right, so this is our last uh, throwaway pick before we have to start picking those elites. So let's see. We can still get that defenseman if he's there, which he is. I might do it. We don't need the goalies. This guy's got two ticks on elites. He can only go down as low as top nine. Maybe not a bad idea. Good shot utilization. Lacks defensive consistency. Well, that's not accurate, of course, but... I mean, we could take a chance. Might be worth it. He can only be as low as a top nine, so it's it's still worth it. Another right-handed shot or or a gamble. Let's take the gamble. You know what? Let's do it. One more gamble here for luck. Nah. Oh, he's a low top nine too. Damn. Yeah. Hindsight 2020. Should have grabbed the uh, the meet uh, the medium top six, but whatever. Now we'll start on picking the uh, guaranteed elites here because we have. Five more picks, and there's five more guys that we wanted to take chances on. So here we go. Let's pick him here. We'll grab the earliest one first, even if he's no guarantee. So it's this Watt guy. He's a power forward. Could drop down to a top six, but could be an elite. Is a low elite. There we go. Beautiful pick right there. I love it. This is going to be a great end of the draft here. Great beginning, great end. First three rounds are incredible, and the last two rounds are incredible. Well, the last part of the last, yeah, whatever. Words. Okay. Now next. Uh, 39? Yep, 39. So Carpenter, guaranteed. It's another grinder, but hey, he's listed as a gem. So guaranteed elite, low elite. Boom. There he is. Center grinder. Another probably trading asset. Next pick here. I'm just going to make sure we have enough picks, too. Don't worry. I will double check after this one because we are getting close. I want to make sure I do have the right amount of picks to grab everyone. So, 240 per Manus. This guy's listed as a gem. I doubt he'll be a low top six if he's listed as a gem. He could be, but I'm really hoping that he stays true on Elite. So, two way forward would be nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, he did. Low elite. All right. 
Yeah, we got two more, and I think there's only two more guys here. So we can end this with another elite streak, I think. <laughs> All right, now... Yep, two more. Perfect. Okay, so now we'll get Wisniewski, who's a righty defenseman. Beautiful. That's another reason I didn't exactly need that other top six guy, because this is a low elite righty defenseman. 19 years old. Injury prone. Lacks physical play. Doesn't have good reach, but he's good in the defensive end. Good character. Good worth ethic. Good stuff. Let's grab Wisniewski. Bryson Wisniewski. Got him. Another low elite. And the last pick... Will be Bermanis. And he's listed as a gem too, right? Or was that... Did I already pick that guy? Pretty sure... Yeah, I already picked him, huh? Oops. Whoa, 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 whoa. There he is. Okay, uh, LeBlanc. Yeah, LeBlanc. So he's a snipe. Well, not really. We don't know what he is. He could be a sniper, but... Another, perhaps, elite. Now, this is... I, ooh, weaknesses skating off as a consistency for the kind of guy he is. But, hey, value is still value. Development. He's a late-round pick. You're not going to get an incredible player out of here. But let's hope that he's going to be an elite. He could be top six. No! It's another low elite! So, our last five picks of the draft were all low elites here. I might as well be the San Jose Sharks with all these late-round steals. <laughs> Look at him go! Beautiful. What a way to end the draft. So, yet another insanely strong draft. Elites all around. So, Burmistrov, Wang, Comrie, Kultanen, and I think that was all of our elites. And then we had some in the middle who weren't then a couple in there. But, damn, that was just yet another amazing draft. The, our lowest our lowest player was a red, uh, a red top nine. And that's not too bad. Everything else was pretty much elite. We didn't have any top sixes. <laughs> we got a few role players, and then everyone else is just elite. So, beautiful. Great stuff right there. I love the scouting in this game. So, our prospect pool continues just to grow. And my goodness, is it looking good. Now, the re-sign phase. This is where it gets tricky. A little bit. Not too tricky. We have a lot of expiring scouts, and we're going to want to get... a. Probably a few of those back. So first things first. Let me see who I want to get back out of those dudes. That was a lot expiring. Does it? Is it gonna say that they're expiring? Oh god. Should actually like tell me who's expiring here, shouldn't it? Oh, there we go. I, I could do zeros. Ha <laughs> ha! I figured it out. All right, so this is a pro scout. He's a B overall, par A. He's a B. I might let the guys who are C or lower go and pick up some new guys just to get them really, really good. The pro scout might not be bad to have because we were. I am going to start getting to that point where trading will be more useful than drafting. How's this Atlantic and Pacific, but he's not really good in real. He's good in the AHL, but I don't need to scout the AHL, really. I need to scout the NHL, so I could let him go as well. I think I like this pair Pare guy or whatever. He's really good in the U.S. for amateurs. He's actually decent in the in the CHL. I think I should sign this guy. B is not bad. We'll bump him up a little bit because, again, nothing matters. <laughs> All right. So, don't uh, reset the, the settings, the scout, whatever. All right. Able shouts are... He's only a C. Really good in Russia. Really good in Europe. I do need European scouts. Sunkfist has found some good guys in the past. Well, decent. But he's really good in Scandinavia. You know, we could always get him back if we want him. I would, I'll, I'll like to, I'm would. i going to look to see if, uh, if there's anyone better. And if there's not... Well, then. I think Pear is the only guy I really want. This Cloutier guy. If he was better in more areas, but he's really good in the AHL, and I really don't need that. I would like to scout NHL talent that's what i want to do for uh for if i'm gonna make trades i'm i would like to scout the nhl talent i don't need to make ahl trades i've never found use for that so we're only gonna sign pair back if we could find better guys than these guys in the scouting area then all the more better if we can't then we can get them back anyway so we'll get that guy and now we're gonna go to contracts here and figure out what our team is gonna look like 
So Subban actually wants an extension. Panarin does not. We're going to release Panarin. I don't think it's worth it to try to hold on him. He does have great seasons, but he's too expensive for a second liner. And that's the only way he's ever done good on this team is if, if, is if he's on the second line. We got guys coming up. Now, I might actually sign Subban because he wants to come back. Although we do have a lot. I can't really do it. I want. I kind of would want to. I mean, I maybe could get away with it, but I just signed Ekholm. I could always trade Miller if I really want to, or Muzzin, who's actually looking like he's declining even more. Uh, but Pete's going to be coming up. Fritz Meyer might be coming up. Um, Lowe might be. DiPietro might be. We have a lot of guys vying for ice time here. So it's kind of tight. If we if we were to sign Subban, that really leaves up a lot of room. I mean, Subban, we could get away with it, honestly. I can, I can give him for like a year or two. I know he wants a... He would, that's actually not a bad price. We were paying him 9 mil before. Hell. I might actually do it now. We could always make room by trading some of these other guys if, if we have guys who are ready. But I don't know that we will. I love Akholm. You know, Fritz Meyer is about ready. He's uh, another, he got another left away. We have too many lefties. We're going to have to make choices anyways. DiPietro. And some of these guys aren't quite as good. Oh, low. I didn't... What the hell? I didn't sign... Oh, whoops. Well, he wants a bridge deal. And it, by the looks of that, it looks like he's going up. So... Okay, that's 50% off. I can give him a little bridge deal like that. That's easy. All right. Pellick. We're releasing him, obviously. <laughs> Completely ruined him. But he was pretty ruined to begin with. Alos, 69 at 22. Low top 6 by. Don't need ya. Pino, leave him off contract again. Don't need to sign him. Same with this guy. Uh, I need to sign Baradziuk. So, 20 at 66. Not amazing. But he's got the medium elite. So, obviously you want to sign him. Everyone else can stay off. But yeah, as we look at this. We could have guys vying for eye time. But a lot of them are lefties. So, Clayson can be our depth still. Or maybe one of these guys will be our depth. I did extend Clayson. I actually should have left him because I wasn't thinking about using one of these guys as depth. Because I usually don't. But the low top four guy, I wouldn't mind using his depth. Because his you know, his his skill his skill ceiling's not that high. So I could have done that. I can still just trade Clayson if I want to. That's not a big deal. Fritz Meyer isn't signed. We'll see what his jump is and then probably sign him. <laughs> I might as well just sign him now. I don't think there's any chance. But you know what? If I want to trade him, it, do it wouldn't make sense to sign him. If, it, if I'm like, okay, I can give it to someone else. I don't think I'm going to want this guy. Then I'll definitely want to trade him. Because his stats are a little spread out. No real good awareness. His defense is okay. Awareness is a bit low, but everything else is good. Passing's high. Good aggressiveness. A bit low on the discipline. So I'll wait on that. But yeah, let's fuck it. Let's get Subban for one more year. We'll get him for a full year here. And since he wants to sign, we could actually get him for a ridiculously good price. Like, this price that we're about to get him for is actually really good. I was not expecting it to be this low. He might decline, but whatever. He'll fill into the top four anyway. Yeah, we get him for one... Or, sorry, 6.1-ish. Yeah, 6.1 exactly. Unless I'm doing that wrong. Uh, no. 6.1. So, one year at 6.1 for Subban. We'll have him for a year. So, it's not as much of a pure rental as it is, but it's still kind of a rental. Just We just get an extra year out of him. Alright. So, that'll take care of that. Offered Subban a contract. Now, when it comes to Nason Nash, I already I, I did extend Nash for two more years. He is our captain too, by the way. <laughs> I, I like the idea of him being captain when the uh when we were as a you know when we get it got everyone in the expansion and then he he kept proving himself, so he stayed captain. No one else took it from him. Um but this is probably his last contract with him with us. Two years he just turned thirty three. It'll be he'll be coming off contract when he's thirty four or thirty five, which is kind of perfect for his kind of skill set. Uh, Nike Fist, I think, obviously, we should sign. He's 80 overall now. He's ready for NHL. His awareness could be better, but his passing's out of this world. Decent shot as well. So let's get Nike Fist. Boom. Um, Fritz Meyer will hold off on. Uh, when it can, But Nason, these other guys, I might be letting them go. For the sole purpose of, we have all these forwards coming up now. Same reason I let Panarin go. We got, we got, he sure, boy, I extended Couture one more year because centers. Uh, Henrik Karpovsev. That's our, 
Well, top five for now. But, one of these guys might be top six material. Jang, Krebs, Nyquist, they might get a massive jump. I don't know. I think one of them at least gets a jump to like, like if Nyquist goes up to 82, he's, he's second line ready. No question. So I think this is going to be a big old youth movement year. If we really, really need someone, we can make a trade. We have plenty of value, but I don't need to get Panarin back for that reason and then have to trade him anyway. Yeah, we can get stuff back for Panarin, but you saw the way we've been drafting in the past couple years. We don't need it. So with Nason, with Fast, I think they're both out of here. Because Jang, Krebs, Nyquist all coming up. Shore, po Shore, Shore Kruger will hold on to. Brizgalov might even be coming up. Uh, you know, all these other guys. We need to sign Sim here. He gets his first contract because he was off contract doing all that growth. He's 74, man. We're going to get a couple of nice paid years for him. Khrushchev. I like him for my AHL, I think. Yeah, he's got solid stats. I think he's just going to be an AHL ringer. That's kind of his skill cap. But whatever. I like him for that. All right, we'll hold off on this guy. Let him grow again. Wow. He's going to be good. Uh, Hamalainen, we have to sign him. He'll play AHL, which is perfect. Who else here? Don't need to sign you yet. Duchesne, low top six, 67 at 20. What kind of player are you? Playmaker. And I might, I might give him a chance just because I do need some guys in the AHL. We can always make a trade for him, or trade him. Peyton Manning, again, he'll grow off contract for a bit. Everyone else still who doesn't have contract will grow. Uh, no, that guy's gone. And everyone else we don't technically know about yet. So when we figure about, when we figure out about him, then we can make offer the contract. So Fast and Nason might be gone, as I said. So third line, I don't know. Maybe I should keep one or two of them. I might keep Fast. I can only keep one of these guys, really. I'm keeping Nash for a couple years. He's a third-line center. Kutcher, yeah. He should Kutcher, Boyle. You know, Karpopsev. Heinrich, Boyle. And then, hopefully, one of these guys, Krebs or Nyquist, is ready for second line. And then, Jang, third line. One of these guys will be only third line. So, yeah, I'll keep fast and let go of Nason. That's a bit of money. But it is kind of worth it. Mm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, we have 27 million. What am I talking about? Well, until we sign some guys. We don't need much to do in free agency, so what do you want for a year, though? That's a bit better. I might only go year by year with fast now because that's kind of the player he is now. 3.95. We can get him for 3.4-ish, a little bit under that. Uh, yeah, 3.475. That's a decent contract for him. So we can get him. Nason will probably release, but I'll hold off on that for now, just in case. Just in case I'm kind of miscalculating here. Goalies, I already I extended Grubauer to two more years because as I want him to be a dependable backup as well. Nicola... Warner should be a, a, a backup this year if he gets a jump. McCola should be still a starter, minor. Uh, Ward, I might sign to be his backup. In fact, I probably will. Look how many fucking do <laughs> Look how many. Oh, Lynch jumped up to a 61. Nice. That's good for us. That's the franchise guy. At least he's growing now. So, yeah, I'll probably sign Ward to be his backup. Everyone else will just be, you know, value. But we have to actually start trading them or signing them. Grand Pierre will have to trade this year. Uh, Milson will have to trade this year. Ward, we're going to likely sign. I might just... I'll sign him now because I'm pretty damn sure I'm going to use him. He's 70 overall. Pretty sure he should be listed as minor backup. If he's not, I'm playing him there anyway. He's listed as other goalie, whatever. Sign him anyway. So we're good on the goalie front. Let's advance a day here. Clean some of the things up. See if we can get everyone back that we are offering. Uh, we got Duchesne. Subban rejected. Unfortunate. Fast also rejected. Everyone else accepted. Okay, so it's just Subban. Maybe I should undercut him a bit. And fast, same kind of deal. Probably because I changed his years as well. All right, so what was it? Like 6.1, right? Yeah, so I can go like 6.25. We'll try him at that. See if he likes that a bit better. It's only a year. Uh, fast, was it 3.4, three, three, just under? So I could do 3.5 and see if he signs for that. So we'll do that. 
Uh, let's see if I'm make sure I'm not missing anything who are UFAs or RFAs that I have to sign. Pretty sure everyone else should just be unsigned. Oh, there are a couple. Uh, oh, yeah, Kruger, Nason. Yeah, yeah. I want Kruger and Shore. Kruger and Shore will both come back. Fourth line needs to be strong. If we have some fourth liners, these guys can sit and be depth. He wants to come back. I'll just give him that. We'll have enough cash. Uh, Shore, I want to get back as well. It's a bit much. I don't think I get him one four. I don't think one five is gonna do it, but I'll try anyway. No, I think that's too much. There. Too far. Yeah, close enough. I'm trying to do math in my head. We all we all know how that goes for me. We'll see. All right, so let's advance another day here. I'm still holding off on Nason. I just don't know yet. He's been solid for us. Uh, okay, so our scout came back. Shore rejected. Suban rejected. Fast rejected. Kruger accepted. Why are they rejecting? Being dicks. I'm going to keep cranking him up slowly. He wants the extension. I should actually read what he's saying. It's probably because I'm tra changing the years on him. Who knows? What I did 2-5, I could do 3-5 if I want to be a stickler, which I do. Alright, fast, what is your issue? Do I have to give you like 4 flat? Man, I will. Because you're kind of good enough. Alright, sure, why didn't you want to sign? Why are you being a dick? Probably because I cut you too low. We'll give you 7-5 and call it a day. And that's it, right? I think so. We'll advance another day here. How many days we got left? Uh, three after this. Sure, accepted. Suban still rejected. Fast, accepted. So it's just Suban holding out now. We're going to go slowly with him. Go 6.5 next. He wants the extension. Again, I didn't read what he said because I don't really care. So we did 3-5. We'll just do 6-5 now. If he doesn't accept that, what the hell? Probably, it's it's likely because I'm only offering him one year and he wants two. And that's a pretty big deal to only get one year. Maybe he was, wasn't happy about his playing time. Um, Adjust the financials accordingly. I kind of did. Alright, so two days left to get this done. I actually don't want to lose him to UFA. So... I'll use 7-5, and then I'll try 7. 6-7-5, six, and then if that doesn't work, I'll have to try 7. Or I might just give him exactly what he's asking for for the one year. Because, I don't. again, I don't want to lose him. Still rejected. This is interesting. Usually, if they want that contract, I could also give him the two years. And we shouldn't be... We shouldn't be... We have to set Karpovsev, sure. But we're not going to be spending too much here. Hmm. But two years, man. He will decline. I could always trade him. I'm trying to think here. What kind of contracts will we have coming up? Jang's coming up. Pete's coming up. Don't want some real cash. I, ha I kind of have to be safe. I should give him just the one year. Couture, well, we'll lose Couture. We won't have Couture anymore unless we'll have to. Unless we don't have another center. Which honestly could be the case. Actually, probably will be the case. Sim is likely not going to get ready for second line. So we have to assume that we can only get this guy for one year. So I'm going to give him exactly what he's after. Maybe even bump him up a bit. If it's only one year, I'm going to I'm gonna just make sure I get him. 7.5 for one year. If he doesn't sign for that, then F. We're kind of screwed. <laughs> How do we have 56 million of cap space? It's got to be wrong. That's really weird. There's no way we should have that much. Oh, probably. I don't know why. Hold on. What the heck? Why is it saying that? It just said we had like 20-something. Now it's saying back to 23. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making sure we don't have any... Oh, yeah, it's Nason. Uh, I gotta think if I want to offer him a contract. He's kind of good. 84, 83, and 88. If I really, really need him, I can get him back. But, again, I gotta start... We gotta think about... Our future guys. Some of them might only be ready for fourth line. True. So, I could get him and play it safe, but... I did also sign both Shore and Kruger. And I still got Pocket for one more year, right? Yeah, Pocket for one more year. Again, we can send some down, trade some if we really need to, depending on who jumps. 
But on the forward end of things... I mean, they're already all listed as third liner. Third liner. Krebs actually listed as depth still. Nyquist probably now is listed as third liner. Hopefully Krebs. He should jump. I'm going to play him NHL anyway if he doesn't. It's time for him to break in. Brizgalov too. Yeah. I, I, all right. If we really need Nason, we can sign him. But I don't think I'm going to sign him here. Where the hell is he? There he is. Release. Okay. Bye-bye. So that sucks, but... I think we're trying to get over to our young guys here. And I think that's the best bet. Yep. So please sign Subban. I mean, 7.5. Okay, they did. Oof. All right, so we're able to get him back one more year for Subban. And that takes care of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scouts weren't assigned. That's fine. So we can always, we're going to probably hire new scouts. Because I got the guy I wanted. We can hire, hopefully, better scouts. So I'll give you guys a quick glance at it and see. But I'm, I usually just do all that crap on my own when I do hire scouts. We'll see what's there. If they're not anything good there, but there should be. There usually is. Yep, look at their overalls. That's plenty. A few NHL scouts. You know what? We'll, we'll need them. We'll need them because we want to start scouting the NHL out. This guy's good. Wow, he's good kind of everywhere. Same with him. I might grab a couple of those. And this guy's an OHL scout. Uh, really good in the OH. He's very one-dimensional, though. He's only good in the OHL. Everywhere else, he's trash. So he's not even worth it, even though he's got good overall ratings. Not worth it. Suave is another pro scout. I'll hire maybe a couple pro scouts, and then the rest I'll still do amateur. This guy's decent in U.S. Still might need another uh, European guy. We'll see. I'll, I'll check my stuff. But that that's all micromanagement I'll do on my own. So one look at free agency here before we sign off. Give you guys a... Uh, we have 16 mil. Panarin's in there. He's got two teams interested in him. Good for him. Glad that he'll get sent somewhere. And again, I don't think we'll need any of these guys. How are you ass? How are this? How is this guy commanding? Three years. Seriously, how is this guy commanding? Three years at eighty overall, at that price. <laughs> wow, very interesting. Well, again, I don't think there's much we need in free agency. I think we're pretty much just... We're turning it over to the young guys. It's going to be a massive youth movement next year. I don't think I'm going to need any. We might we might need to get some a depth forward to spend money. You know, give them like 7 to $10 million just to spend money. But other than that, I think we're going to be okay right now. Yeah, I mean, we could get Panarin back. But I don't really think it's necessary. I don't. Not even for a year, because I, I guarantee you one of those guys is going to be listed as a second liner. Either Krebs or, uh, you know, Nike Fist or the other guy, or Zhang. One of them is going to be listed. Like, they, they got to get that jump. If they don't, we can make a trade. It'll cost a lot of value to sacrifice, but we have plenty of value. And if we keep trading that value, it'll be a lot more fun when we draft instead of just, oh, more leads, more leads. So that's why I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on free agency probably for the most part for everything besides needing to spend money. So that's my thoughts on it. You guys have different thoughts. Definitely let me know. All right. So that takes care of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like and I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.